<coughs> Howdy everyone, how is it going? Welcome back to the Brit Farms Farm Simulator Edition. Today, in this video, I am cutting oats for hay. The reason I'm doing this is because none of my other crops, cash crops, are ready to harvest right now. And I'll put a little money back in my account up there. Just for, uh, for, just to have a little extra for, uh, a cushion on stuff. So, I'm cutting this oats here to kind of put a little money in the bank because I'm going to sell it for hay. Now, I'm only cutting half of this field right now. Because this is a fairly long field, so I'm just going to cut half of it, this half, and then I'm going to cut the farther half uh, later on. So I do have the big M, Chrome Big M here. All right, got part of it rowed and cut. I'm stripping, strip cutting it right now, and uh, so I'm going to do this for a little bit, and then. Like I said, I'm and then I'll roll it and collect it and then take it over to those, over by the red barns where I've got a sale point over there. So I'm going to do that in this video. So that's the plan here. And so... I gotta buy some fertilizer, I gotta buy some more seed, and then herbicide too for weed control. So, and probably some pesticide, I don't know yet. But I'm gonna, I guess, still gotta buy all that, so I'm gonna, I got corn, cotton, corn, cotton, oats, as right, and sunflower as my main crops. <clears throat> and this, on this season. Next time I'm going to have corn, soybeans, and cotton. I'm, I may not, I'll probably get rid of the soybean or the sunflowers. Because I don't really have any use for sunflowers. And I'm, I'm not a big sunflower person anyway, so. Uh, I'll probably just have soybeans, corn, and cotton. I'll probably still do some oats, but I also got over in that left corner up there. That brown, that's alfalfa, and that's going to be cut for hay too, and sold too. Because I don't have any animals on this. This is all a cash crop farm here. I don't have any animals or anything like that. I don't plan on getting any. So, that is the plan for here, this farm. <clears throat> all that you see right there is sunflowers. So, I do have to, some big fields of sunflowers to harvest. I got some large fields of cotton to harvest and right now none of that's ready so that's the reason why I'm doing this right now because I gotta have some income coming in uh, on the off season there so they're off time here and this crone has a little delay reaction in those wing mowers so there it goes. And of course I have a little strip that's not getting cut. I should have figured that. It never fails. <clears throat> well, this is supposed to be, I mean like I said in the other videos, it's supposed to be about 4,000 acres of land here uh it's a big field i mean big farm i really i like these big x or big i think well 4x or whatever huge farm uh all this so all that's cotton that's cotton these two are cotton not sure how much that i'm gonna harvest sun these are sunflowers this is sunflower uh this dark orange here this is oats now, this is oats what I'm cutting right now, and that's oats. That's oats. Uh, them are massive fields. 
And then this field here, this field here, and this field here is corn that I just planted a couple of days ago. So there ain't nut, there's nothing ready except for har uh, oats. That's the reason why I'm cutting it. There's no other crops that's ready to go right now. But these cotton fields is going to take forever to harvest. But uh, <clears throat> this field here is in alfalfa. This is the only alfalfa field that I have right now. Um, I may convert this one into alfalfa after I harvest it. I don't know yet, but anyway, that's what my farm looks like here. I plan on getting some irs on these, on this equipment here. See how many irs I can rack up on my combines and stuff. I got five irs on one of my tractors from planting, from doing anhydrous. So that'll be, so I racked my irs on it. And so, be interested to in see what kind of irs I get on my combines and stuff. Yeah, I forgot. I still got to do that one strip. That got it. Oh well. So that's what the plan is. Hope everybody has a good New Year's this weekend. Hope everybody has a good 2024. I hope it's. I hope mine's better than 2023 has been. That's for sure. I don't know what I'm going to do this weekend. I don't really do the whole celebrating uh, New Year's. So, I don't know. I just don't have a clue what I'll be doing. Probably just relaxing. I'm tired of going. I don't want to go anywhere. I may have to get a haircut, but I don't plan on doing much anywhere. Spend any money on anything. I don't drink, so. It may just be uh, playing, playing my uh, farm here. Ain't got nothing out in the shop to do t this uh, weekend. I will go to church tomorrow. Before I go to uh, go to get my hair done. This will make several rows. Should come up pretty good money. Yeah, I did go ahead and put duels on this chrome just because it was an option. I went ahead and had duels put on it. Just because it looks good. All those red barns, those are mine too. They come with a map, but. I, I'm gonna I use I'm using those barns right there. And that's my main farm up there. Oops. Yep, there it goes. Alright. Gotta make sure my GPS lined up. Activated there. See today, uh, a little bit. I got my game on a, I think it's like a 42 inch or something like that TV screen off my computer, and uh, it was kind of high the way I had it mounted. So today. I, uh, I actually lowered it to where I'm looking straight ahead and staying kind of up in an angle. So, and got a, the steering wheel on the, like the ch ch uh, cutter there, I got it lined up with the steering wheel on my desk. So, and you got a pretty nice system here, set up here. I'm pretty happy with it. I bought that, uh, uh bracket for the tilt, uh, for, to, for, to make my steering wheel tilt steering. And it's not the correct steering wheel for it, but it does work. I did figure out a way to make it work, so I now have tilt steering on my dash here, or on my desk. 
so that's nice so when I get up I can tilt my steering up or I can pull it down wherever I feel like putting it actually pretty nice to have tilt the steering wheel to tilt on me or with for me it's a eighty dollar bracket uh eighty dollar uh yep yeah, bracket for it to make it make the steering wheel tilt <coughs> I have a thrust master I think it's a g67 steering wheel but it still works great I don't need a four another four hundred or three hundred dollar steering wheel just to fit the bracket I made this one work cutting at 15 miles an hour that's pretty good out of all this I've only cut an hour's worth of hmm. that'll change too So I'm glad they made up the Jeep, the GPS auto steer setup. I'm glad they come up with that. I'm gonna eventually need to wash off my windshield here one of these days. It's getting dirty. So I've tr in the other video I've tried three different hay rollers. I was aiming at to. Uh, Looking to buy uh, at least another brand just to see how I like it. Uh, I don't know if it's a Kubota. I can't remember if it's like Flycon or Kubota, but I'll just have to see. I don't, I'm not too uh, worried. Or I'm not sure which one I want to lease out next. I got my main one right now is a 435 John Deere. Uh, I got the 560 M, but it doesn't those that one and the 535 John Deere for some reason does not count the bail size so it doesn't actually form a bail in the baler so it does pick the hay up but it doesn't actually form a bail so I don't know what the deal is with that but it's two John Deere hay rollers already that have come up with that problem So I I tried that Vermeer and it worked it worked like it's supposed to it just doesn't seem uh, wanna feel like it has the wide enough pickup pick head on it it misses hay off the side so that's the reason why I'm not using it. And you know let's let's look what other uh, hay roller there is. I know there's a Kubota. Let's see, there's a Coon. That's what the other Coon. Uh. There's that, or whatever that is. There's that 560M. I got it. I, that's one of my main one I'm bailing with. And then this is 535. Uh, for some reason, it does not count bills. That's the one that don't count bills right there. And then this one has a rat net wrap on it. And I really don't want that. Don't know if that was an option or not. Um, no, it's not an option. It had, it's, you either have to have it or you don't get the baler. That one there is the uh, one that I tried to. The pickup just doesn't act like it's wide enough. You can see, what's this? Is this a baler or a round baler? Yep, that's a round baler, but it's also a net wrap. And I don't need the net wrap system on it. Since I'm going to be selling it. So those are the only hay rollers I've got. I need to get me uh, go in there and look, look up some more. Um, I 
Guess I could try this one out. Looks like it's got maybe a wire to pick up. I'll lease it out and see what it does. And then I'll lease a tractor to pull it. That yeah, looks like a decent tractor to pull it, the whole thing. I don't plan on keeping it very long, so. Oh, man. Acoustic cab. And uh, I better go there. And the front weights. I don't need GPS or anything like that on this one. I'm not sure if I'll keep it very long anyway, so. Let's go get it. Oops. This this tractor sounds good though. It has a real turbo, a uh, real good turbo sound to it. I like a turbo sound to it. My camera, church camera keeps going off on me. Oh, somebody's at the church tonight, but I don't know. It looks like they went inside, so. Oh well, I'm going to take this up there and give this a whirl to see if I like this bell or not. So it looks like it does have the counter so it should work, or the bell indicator so it should work. I have another tractor over here if I need, if I decide to. Hey, I got a work camera on this thing? See. Shift alt. See? I do.
I'll tell you what, I like this camera on the back, the work cameras. I got one on my actual, on my real John Hay Wheeler out uh, that I bail hay with here on the farm, and I tell you what, I really like it. Uh, there's one that I don't use a whole lot, so I'm kind of thinking maybe of putting it on the inside of the baler for a couple rounds this go around this season, and you know just kind of getting a couple shots of my how the bell hay forms and stuff like that. That would be kind of neat. So they're magnetic, and I don't if I stuck it in the right spot, I can I can do that and not affect the camera. So that would be kind of cool to see could do. Looking forward to see what this old, this baler do, how this baler performs. I don't like Alice Chalmer tractors, but it's something different to try. I'll come back. I'll get back to you when I get over here. All right, I'm back. Hmm. So, I got a Coon hay roller over here with old Alice Chopper tractor. I like the baler, but I'm going to swap it with one of the other tractors whenever I get, uh, when I do get mowing for a little more serious over here. Because I like a, uh, I'm gonna probably swap it with a John Deere, one of the John Deere's I got in the field here. Uh, so, but I, I'm actually liking that hay roller. I'm gonna, I'll end up keeping this and this coon one. One more pass, and I will be done cutting this uh, for this half. Yeah, I'll come over here and collect it with my trailer. <coughs> oh, excuse me, boy, that snuck up on me. Too bad it, I'll end up in the wrong, well, no, not really. I guess I won't end up in the wrong side at the end of the field. I guess I can park it up here for the other half or other I guess I'm about I'm doing a quarter of it so of the three quarters of it I will cut next time now just park this up here around get out of here all right Guess I'll park this up here out of the way for now. All right. I'm going to go over here in hyperspeed and get this uh, other John Deere tractor that I got over here. Just take it off this John Deere roller and I'll return this roller. Because I don't like this roller. But I do like this tractor. This is the 4955. What I'll probably do is go ahead and return this tractor and a hay roller while I'm thinking about it real quick. And go ahead and go in here. 
because I got them both leased. Um, that's that has zero hours on it. That one has point one hour. Oh, um, so it'll be this one to return. And then hay rollers 560M, return it. There it goes. Yep, I was right. I had a feeling that was the tractor because the other tractor didn't have that many hours on it. The other Alice, because this is a dealership tractor. Oops. The only. Disadvantage, I think, to swapping those tractors, I won't have those nice camera views. Let's see. Oh, I do. I will have this. I do have the camera. Okay. Great. This is a coon baler that I was talking about earlier. I actually do like it because it's got great cam got the cool camera views and it has and it uh, it actually is a good baler so far. And it's not net wrap. And I like the when the tailgate opens, I like how the belt hangs out like a like a regular like a real roller. Yep. Didn't get stopped at time. Hmm. And it has a good wide pickup to it. quite a few vent rows to do so but might as well get comfortable doing this I'll be doing this for a little while today hopefully I'll try and get all these roads tonight what I plan on doing I like each under tractors. I like all brands. I ain't anything in particular brand, but I like them all. I just like the ones that's got good graphics, that runs good, does what they're supposed to do. That sounds good too. I like the way some of, it has to sound good. Can't have cheap graphics uh, like some of the this one's got good graphics in it
Well, I'm at 30 minutes for this video, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. Next uh, video will probably be me picking up some bales and selling them in my semi-trailer. So, y'all take care. Hope y'all have a wonderful New Year's holiday. Bye-bye.